Brought to you in part by Susan Shoot at Exclusive Realtors, servicing South Chicagoland, Northwest Suburbs, Kankakee, and Will County. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Um, today I'm going to be uh, installing a charger for uh, EVs. Uh, my wife got a, um, a BZ4X, it's a little like SUV Toyota, uh, completely electric. Um, it works out really well for what she does every day doing real estate and um, she's never had an issue of range or anything with that and it's on the average costing about maybe five cents a mile to drive it so um, we did have a 220 uh, set up already but the charger wasn't very reliable because it's got like a very sensitive touch screen and it was um, changing to uh, a timer delay every time she'd plug it in so it wouldn't charge right away and she would need it so um, we're eliminating that problem so here I'm going with the, the charge point, uh, I think it's called Flex, I'll look it up, but uh, I did have a small outlet underneath before one of these, um, I was running at about 30 amps with a 40 amp um, sized wiring, so it had um, 8 gauge wire, but now I upped it to 6 with a eight gauge ground so that I can run 48 amps. So here we are in the basement and that is the pipe that you saw going into the wall from outside. It just comes along the wall here and I just have it going right in here. And this is gonna be a 60 amp breaker right here to feed that, which is uh, at 48 amps, uh, it would be at 80% of its uh, capacity. So basically you just strip the ends off a half inch and on this one the middle one's the ground and um, the two hots are on the outside. This one is the grounds on the outside and then your two hots and like the sensor wire and you just push them into their slots and then just flip those down. So I got them all in their spot and just flip these down now it's tight and i just put this little uh sensor deal in here and that's it now i just have to go downstairs and wire up the breaker and it's good to go okay so the covers just pop on and this is the final result this um swivels up and down to make it easy to push in there okay so here is the new 60 amp breaker we got our number six in there and i wire tied it to the rest i i did enough here in case ever want to since this is a full house um if i want ever want to add a sub panel next door to it these wires would be long enough that i could move it so that's the reason for that but so all i got to do now is put the cover back on and uh fire it up okay, so the cover's back on and we're gonna go for it and that's it so i have it recording it's hooked up to my wi-fi at the house and um it's showing you here that it's putting out seven point one six kilowatts which is more than what the other charger was doing so here is the map view it shows where the charger is at and there it is on the bottom left corner you see it's showing that there so it's pretty cool setup and it will just uh, tell you as it goes how many miles it's adding So here is her car plugged in and working as it should be. This was the other like portable one that I had and you see those buttons there they're very sensitive and they can change settings very easily so 
we were having a few times where it would change the amp rating or set a timer and not start charging right away when she would plug it in and she didn't notice it. So that charger is a little more, it was about $550 and I don't think that's too bad compared in comparison to that other one I had that was not Wi-Fi compatible. Um, it just was loose plugging into the wall. You know, it just, you had to hang it on the wall with like a screw. Um, it's more designed to be portable, but you know, like I said, that those buttons are so sensitive. I, I didn't like the reliability of that one. I do have a backup charger in the garage. It's 16 amp that I use for the Chevy Volt. That would work fine for overnight, no problem. But um, I just wanted to be able to go at full capacity for level two, which is 48 amps. And now I don't have to worry about that. I'm maxed out with uh, what you could do at level two with the number six wire and uh, 60 amp breaker. Uh, so you can run your 80% at 48 amps. Um, it's just better if you want to charge something fast, like 48 amps is about 35 to 37 miles per hour added back to the car. So that's pretty good, especially if you go out, come home for a couple hours, you plug it in, you're getting 70 miles put back in the car in a couple hours. So I think that's a good, good deal. So there is more to come. I do have the other vehicle that I wanted to get. Um, so it's a big change up. I'm very happy with the car. Uh, it's been a week. So uh, I will be doing some stuff on that and then a few upgrades here and there on that. Um, so yeah, there's definitely more to come with that. So please, if you uh, like what you see, like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one.